here at Underwood State Park in Humboldt, California in a redwood forest, which is right here. And in fact, right there is a tree that you can drive through, which we did in this. This is the all new 2020 Subaru Outback. So we took an off-road drive this morning. We drove it up a mountain and back down again. And it's great for the kind of driving that we did across creeks and down some very narrow uh, trails where normally a larger vehicle, a pickup truck or other 4x4 would have trouble going because they're just too big. So while the car is great for that, you need it for your daily driving too, right? So for getting to school, getting to work, all the things that you have to do between your adventures, there. Hey there. So what's the damage? Ten bucks? Uh, correct, yes. And so what is this a whole like what what's it what how big is the park here? So the park itself is about two hundred acres. Okay. Um the road is about one mile for the whole loop. Okay. And it's straight ahead to the tree. It's about a quarter mile down. Okay, so we just do follow the loop really. Right. And right. then there's parking down there too if you need to get out and walk around. Okay. You can bring your mirrors in if you need extra room and it's all right, thanks very much. Here we go, guys. We're going to drive through a tree. So Subaru has completely redesigned this whole infotainment system. So everything that you need is right here. You have these controls here that are static. So they, these stay, your home button, that puts you into your X mode. So you can have X mode, um, your vehicle dynamics control, traction control is right here, and then your auto vehicle hold, which gives you the opportunity to put your foot on the brake. And then when you take your foot off the brake, it's supposed to be doing that, the car doesn't move anymore. So my foot's off the brake, the car's not moving because this is on. And then X mode here, so I can set it for snow or I can set it for deep snow because you know you have snow and then you have deep snow. So um, also in, in this uh, system is navigation, radio, media, apps. Back here, you have Travel Link and My Subaru. Um, and then we also have settings and this gives you the opportunity to customize some of the settings in the car and then here uh, there's a shortcut so you can set up your shortcuts by tapping this you can also set up um, custom settings for each driver which you do right here so I can add a driver and I can set my own settings for myself. I can set them for my husband. I can set them for my teen daughter, the babysitter, whoever else is driving the car. We can add a profile so that everything that is customized for how that driver wants it. One of the really cool things that I like in this car is the adaptive cruise control, which is here. 
Um, this is your gap adjust, so this is, you can adjust uh, closer to the car ahead of you or further away. Um, and then your lane keep assist, which you push this little button here with the steering wheel, and that gives you lane keep assist, and I'm gonna show you how that works. So with the adaptive cruise on, and the lane keep assist engaged, the Subaru will keep you in your lane. So it won't let you, it tracks the lane markings on either side of the road, and it won't let you drift out of your lane. It will even follow the curb of the road, just like that. Now it tells me to put my hands on the steering wheel. If I don't do that, it will stop the car. So the sensor for the automatic lift gate is actually in this badge. So with the key in my pocket, I just need to be in proximity, wave my hand by the badge, and the lift gate opens. Another cool thing is this uh, cargo cover. If your arms are full and you need to get the cargo cover open, you just pop it with your elbow and it opens.